Yo, how's it going guys? So the new Operation Ember Eyes is coming out in just a few days, and they are adding a ton of new things to the game. And one of the things they are adding is the new Pink Champion rank. Now this rank is for 5,000 ELO, so 500 points above Diamond, which is quite a bit. Now personally, I have been Diamond every single season since I've started playing the game, but my first season I barely got into Diamond, but every season after that I have been above 5,000 ELO. One season I even hit 7,000 ELO, and that was back in Wind Bastion. Currently this season, I'm a little over 5k elo, so I am very confident I will get the new champion rank next season. But this video isn't about me, I want to help you guys reach that 5000 elo mark and get to that champion rank. Now we're going to cover several topics in this video, so be prepared to watch it all the way through and I guarantee you will have a much better chance of hitting champion. But one of the main things that is going to help you rank up is hitting that subscribe button, because after I hit champion, I'm going to try to play with subscribers as much as possible. I might even make a smurf account to help you guys rank up. You can message me on Xbox, Twitter, or Instagram. The links for those will be in the description below. And alright, now for the first topic, we are going to talk about teammates. Teammates are very important for several reasons, like callouts or picking certain operators or saving your life, kinda like this. Daniel, I need help, bro. Daniel, come on. Bro, don't, don't let me die I'm like this, way. man. Don't let me die like this. He's teabagging me, bro. He's teabagging me, bro. So kill him. Kill him, bro. Thanks. I love you. I love you. Pick me up. Pick me up. Dude, relax. Stop okay. such a pussy. Okay, I'm sorry, bro. Thanks, bro. You're a good guy, bro. But really, in all seriousness, you're going to want to have good teammates. So one of the main things is to never solo queue. Solo queuing is very dumb. It's a 50-50 chance if you're going to get good teammates or not, so it's just not a good idea. So that brings us into the topic of finding good teammates. Now, you're going to want a team that wants to hit that champion rank as badly as you do, so you're going to want to find people who are trying to do everything to get better at the game just like you are. And I know some people who want that diamond or champion rank, but they also want to play with their friends who are bad at the game or that could care less about getting better. So make sure if you're going to play with your friends that they are going to try to win and rank up as much as you are. Now, for those people who don't have a team yet, just keep looking. There are a lot of super good players out there, and I guarantee if you play enough, you will eventually find a really good team. Now when you find your team, you are going to want to have extremely good communication with them, which brings us into our next topic, good communication. Now communication is one of the most important things in this game. Being able to communicate with your teammates in certain situations can be extremely useful. Take this 2v4 clutch me and my teammate got as an example, and pay attention to how good our communication was with all of our teammates. Even our dead teammates were able to give us extremely good calls. <laughs> Don't need one help. Oh. I'm an objective. How are you? Do it. So I'm looking. Yeah, he... yeah, that near us. He's almost there. He's almost there. Uh, oh, good kill. Where? Behind the couch. Behind the couch. Got frost. Oh, good job, Captain. Where's good the last one? Shit. Yo, he grab the fuser, call it, call it, grab it. Yeah, 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 I'm on my yeah, summon help, I'm on my summon help. Right. Just go point. I'm planning. Nice. You just seconds. need to watch my back right. real quick. He's coming in Aquarium, oh, he's coming in Aquarium. 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 You're gonna die. Let's play the mirror. Go, let's go, baby. Oh, oh, let's go, baby, let's go. Nice. Wait, so you that's a clip for the bullies, you know, for the bullies back home, am I right? Am I right? <laughs> now, as you guys saw in that clip, our communication was perfect. We were able to get the plant down and know exactly where the last enemy was coming from because we had our dead teammates on a drone giving us calls, and the person planting the diffuser could also hear him coming from that way. So that gave me enough time to get in position and get the kill, and that's exactly why communication is extremely important. But now I want to talk about our next topic, being smart. I'm going to take that clip I just showed you guys and break it down into several parts, where I did some really smart things to get some easy kills. So I want you guys to pay really close attention to the things I do, because outsmarting your enemy will get you way more kills and wins than running and gunning ever will. But alright, let's get right into breaking down this clip for you guys. How are you? Do it. So I'm lucky. Yeah, he He's almost there, he's almost there. Alright, so right here on this kill, I thought I saw him on the stairs, but I wasn't 100% sure. So when I decided to re-peek, I was already aiming down my sights. That way, if he was there, I could shoot and kill him before he even had a chance to react. Which I ended up getting the kill before he could even shoot his gun. So what I want you guys to take from this kill is to be aiming down your sights before you even see your enemy. That way, when you get into a gunfight, you can get your first initial shots off before he even has time to react. Oh, good kill. Where? 
Now this skill makes me want to talk about another topic, awareness of your surroundings. Now I knew the mirror was going to be in that side of the objective because a couple of seconds ago when I was in the corner of the other objective, I saw her shoot off my teammate on the window. So since I was paying attention to the things that were happening around me, I knew that she wouldn't have that much time to move away from her mirror. So I peeked that side of the door first and I was easily able to get the kill since I knew exactly where she was going to be. Behind the couch, behind right, the couch. Got her. And the couch is over. Got frost. Okay. Now for this kill, I got lucky there was a mirror there. Even though it was my enemy's gadget, I was able to use it to my advantage. Even things like barbed wire can work in your advantage if you're an attacker, because say you've already made your way into the objective and you're waiting for that last defender to come push you. If they go through that barbed wire, they make just as much noise as you would if you were going through it. So you'll know exactly where they're coming from and you can easily get the kill. Good job, Where's the last hatch. one? Shit. Yo, he grab the fuser, call it, call it, grab it. Yeah, I am, I'm yeah, she's I'm right. Just go point. I'm planning. Nice. You just seconds. need to watch my back right. real quick. He's coming to aquarium, he's coming to aquarium. My back, my back, yep, yep. You're gonna die. Just play the mirror. Go, let's go, baby. Oh, oh, let's go, oh, baby, let's go. Now this skill brings us into our next topic, good positioning. I went ahead and positioned myself behind the mirror just in case he pushed from luggage, but I looked behind me because we weren't 100% sure where he was, so I didn't want him sneaking up on me. But as soon as I got the call out from my teammate that he was pushing from luggage, I was easily able to turn around, look through the mirror, and get the kill. So what I want you guys to take from all that is to play smarter. Yeah, sure, my gun skill did help me some there, but the reason I was able to get those kills so easily is because I was paying attention to everything around me, and I was constantly thinking where to best position myself to get those kills, instead of just running at each bad guy hoping I can outgun them. Which brings us into our next topic, gun skill. Now yes, you do need decent gun skill to get kills, but you don't need the all time best aim to get to champion. All you need is smarts and decent aim, and I guarantee you will still get to champion even if you're not the best gunner out there. But if you do want to get better gun skill, then the best way to do that is by running through T-Hunt trying to get as many headshots as you can. T-Hunt is the best way to get better at aiming because there's so many enemies and you can run through it as many times as you want. Okay, now now that we have your teammates smarts and guns go out of the way, we need to talk about one last thing, and that's your confidence. Confidence is very important. If you're not confident in yourself, then it's going to be very hard for you to play good. Now I'm a very confident person when I play this game. When I go into a match, I expect to beat the enemy team no matter what. Take this ace I got as an example and pay attention to how confident I am even though I'm the last one alive on my team. You watching it because? Because. There's a cat can on that door. Hey, don't don't judge over here. Alright. No promises. I'll try what the? not to. You didn't tell me he was on there. We're at the end of the hallway. You have dropped the diffuser. I can't even see him. You're yeah, not on my screen. Friendly. You're not on my screen, bro. Alright, I got this. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. They're capping. Somebody's flanking door. you from dorms. Are you sure? Yep. Like how sure? Positive. Then there's somebody behind desk. Behind desk, he was behind desk. One out four remaining. Last one's near <laughs> dorms. The diffuser All right. is now secured. Why is last scene near dorms? Be careful. Ten left. Let's go, baby. Jovia, Let's go with the, the ace. Jovia, with the ace, baby. Exactly. With the ace. And as you guys can see there, even though I was left in a 1v3 situation, I was still very confident of myself and I knew I was going to win. So never doubt yourself no matter what situation you're in, because I guarantee if you're confident enough and you believe in yourself enough, you can win it no matter what the situation is. But alright, at the end of the day, just have fun. Siege is an amazing game and it's really not that hard to get good at if you practice enough. So I wish you guys luck on your way to champion and if you could hit that like button for me, that would be awesome. I worked super hard on this for you guys and alright, I'll see you in the next one.